Hey people, this is Arai. My pronouns are he, him, and welcome to Rise of the Demigods. Hi, my name is Mackenzie Wilkes. My pronouns are she, her, hers, and I play Astrid Elvea, the demigoddess of constellations and wild elf ranger Rose. Hi, my name is Arvi. My pronouns are he, him, and I play Janice de Cassiel, the demigod of secrets and Asimar Bard. Hey, Yakety Pack. It's me, Nikki C, coming at you with my intro. I played Barb, the human monk, demigod of bones. The only human monk in the world. Said that before and I'm saying it again. Their pronouns are they and them, and so are mine. What up? Uh, hey, my name is Joey and I play Theodore Zoldaya, the demigod of diamonds, and mine and his pronouns are he and him. Welcome to Rise of the Demigods. When we last left all of you, we left with Astrid and Zendar outside by one of those giant elevators that take- Claw uh, machines. Yeah, basically. <laughs> the claw. Look what this one came back with. Uh -huh. We were hiding, I'm pretty yeah. sure, right? We were hiding. Yeah. We're sneaky babes. We yeah, were, we there's were like, like rocks and bushes and fountains out there, so there's things you could hide behind. So uh, you're watching this giant tree step out from this you know, barely able to get them up here, elevator, and then just greet Medina as if they were old friends. And his name is Steelbeard. Did you get that they're not old friends, but as if as they're if old they friends. Were old friends. <laughs> that's how a, do we that's know, a narrative how literary How do we know his secret. name is Steelbeard? I think he was like, hi, me, it's me. It's <laughs> right, they just said it right. No, no. No, no I think Medina was, I think Medina was like, ah, oh, Steelbeard. Steelbeard, hi. He said, it's <laughs> good to see you, Medina. And she said, it's good to see you as well, Steelbeard. And then she looked into the camera. And, and, she, and, then, she, and then she winked, winked and said, long. this will be important later on. Uh -huh. <laughs> Um, well, are they talking anymore? Yeah, <laughs> there's Absolutely. a really tense stare down <laughs> for like five minutes. Yeah, I just want to eavesdrop and see what they're they're gonna say. They're Absolutely. waiting for the director to yell cut. So, so a steel beard like knee like kneels down because he's huge, and he reaches in uh, onto his arm and he kind of like peels back a little bit of bark then that kind of like transforms into paper Woof. as he does so. And he takes a couple of like very large pieces out and just by uh, roll perception, both of you. Uh, 19. 19, nice. 21. Nice, okay. Ooh, so both of you can oh, see. Right? Yeah. <laughs> good start. Good start. Season two. Nice. Oh, so both of you see uh, there are some maps. Uh, there's definitely a star chart that gets flipped through, but there's some, and then there's like one that says writing, but you can't quite read it from where you are. And Medina glances through them and then scowls and looks up at this treant and says, are you sure about her? And he nods. As sure as I have ever been about anything. Tula is the most important <laughs> <laughs> We must find her. Yes, it is Tula. She's the chosen one. What the fuck? Nikki. Nikki? Nikki? That Should I leave? Serious moment. Yeah, do you need that sentimental moments? I'll leave. That's the best joke I've ever heard in my whole fucking life. We need to have like a crown for best joke of the episode. Right, just pass it's it. been yeah. 10 seconds and you have it. Yeah. yeah, if you're planning for this to be a serious moment, I can leave. <laughs> No, that's perfect. That was so fucking funny. Okay. okay. <clears throat> and okay. So there is a pause, and then the sky explodes. What? Oh, wow. Night is turned so much for these wormwood trees. <laughs> what if Rom goes, the sky explodes? And now onto Janice. Uh <laughs> <laughs> the night is turned to a sickening green day as an, ex as an explosion takes it all up. This just seems to swallow the sky. I love green day. As the brilliance fades, a new star flickering like an emerald burns brighter than any other. Steelbeard looks up and sighs. Hopefully, we are not too late. Pause right there. Real quick, can I ask a question? Yes, of course. Is it night again? Like, does it explode yes. and then yes. like it's night again? So, so like the it was just like the brightest thing we've ever seen but it is still night and there's a star in the sky or down where we are? There's now a star in the sky that wasn't there before that is 
a green and flickering and brighter than all the others. Okay. Aram, did you just read The Great Gatsby? Mm. Oh, I can I, see honestly, the green light. You know what? I can see it I in your eyes. <laughs> I was supposed to read it and never did. Uh, well, now you don't have to. It's terrible. It's okay. It's it's right. Right. Now it's you don't have to because you. It's about the American. Really? Because I discovered it. There's a there's a there's a green light. I'm gonna I'm gonna like fall in love with a woman I can't have and just cry while I look at the star and I'll just be like, that's what's obvious, right? The American dream. Will I ever achieve it? Guess I'll throw some parties for thirty years. That's the Great Gatsby, and also somebody will get hit by a car. <laughs> That's the great Gatsby. And write your book reports, kids. Yeah, thank you for coming to Mackenzie's Spark for, Notes. Thank time. you for coming to Rise of the How much okay. Dungeons and Dragons have we played so far? <laughs> Absolutely not. We've been here for two and a half we hours. We made a roll. <laughs> yep. So, yes, it is now night again. Okay. All right. Cool. Now, Janice, you and Cree. And, and Malvorn and, and Barb, Barb are all on a disc, correct? Yeah. Yeah. All right. So you guys are about halfway back to your island, and you see this explosion in oh, the yeah. sky. Oh, what was that? <laughs> <laughs> that I know. Was I, I agree. I mean, it is a bit hard to like, you know, give those true reactions, but I'll go ahead and get this one for you. you ready? <laughs> 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 Janice, did you see that? Janice? I, Janice, did you see that? I, I can see it. Oh my god. What was it? <laughs> <laughs> I saw it. Pull it back. I saw it. For was more it? heavy breathing, see the God's Hall Patreon. Yeah. Um, and there's a star. Oh god. Uh, what does that mean? Let's roll to find out. Cree squints and then says, and he explodes. It's not a star. <laughs> it's moving. It's moving? Like towards us? Closer? I don't know. <laughs> Who's controlling this disc? Oh, the disc is just automatically going back towards the island. Sierra Wave mm-hmm. can speed it up. <laughs> yeah, look, I mean, you're there. So it just kind of docks, you know, land. <laughs> Okay. Uh, so what's the plan? We need to find the others. Um, I kind of want to, uh, thinking about it, uh, fuck all of this. Um, I kind of want to just go get slugs because that's some, um, yeah, we just need to go, uh, I guess we should get behind yeah, How do we first. get slugs? I am going to think of that later when I need to think about it. But right now we need to find the others. Right. So... Malvorn, will you go gather the other students from your house? Of course. Is Cree in Malvorn's house or a different house? Cree is not in Malvorn's house. No, he's house. in mine. Right. Cree is in with the misfits. All right. <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah, it's literally like, it's like slugs, Cree, Cree Malvorn, you'll do the and same. Sosomu. Um, Of course, yeah. Um, yeah, I'll go get everyone. All right. Uh, if they'll come. Let's but go. Also, sure, sure. Let's sure. go find. Malvorn's house has yeah, Demron, who's out, right. and then Zali, who's missing. So literally, he'll just like, right. grab Varrock. Oh, that's true. Go grab listen, Varrock. Listen. <laughs> <laughs> We're working with a, with a you know, bit of a <clears throat> limited cast here, but this way, Aram doesn't have to play 16 people. <laughs> <laughs> I want it. I want that. Um, all right. Yeah. Let's uh, let's meet back here, I guess. We're at the, we're at the edge of the balcony scene. Okay. I would like uh, you two to roll perception. To walk. God. Yes. Roll to walk. How well do you walk? A 22. Nice. 19. Yeah, you both, I mean, he's hard to miss. So yeah, as you rolling. are coming up to the building, you spot off and to the right a giant trant. Oh. Well, I mean, I also just saw like a big old explosion star. Yeah. So like, okay. Do we see anybody? Just the... Talking just the to trant. someone. Yeah. There's, some, there's someone in front of him. So he's, he's like, and then... She's like there. <laughs> hey, Barb, we should go in that direction. <laughs> Listen, there are a lot of things we need to do right now. I'm more worried about getting everyone together. D- so, okay. That's ironic. <laughs> You're right. <ironic. laughs> um, especially Tidor. Is he just asleep right now? I think so. Listen, if you want to split the party, go for it. But I'm going to go wake Tidor up. Okay. I'm... Um, can I go see what's going on over there? Yeah, no, Janice, hey, listen, God. you love trees. I get it. I've seen it in you this whole time. I'm going to go wake they our friend up. They seem to be up. 
talking some secrets over there. In in listen, talking trees, really cool, really interesting. I care about Theodore. All right, well, go get Theodore. Okay, I and will. And maybe um, Astrid and Sendar around as well. Okay, bye. Okay, and I, I start <laughs> running off. <laughs> right. Awkward time, you guys. <laughs> I'm I, I had to off. get to you. Right. So you you go. So <laughs> you're going through the back. Special career. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, it's speaking. not quite lights out yet. So I'm, d- uh, I'm using my full movement and dash. Around. Okay, you'll be there very very <laughs> soon. So you are now walking up. I'm gonna walk up and I uh, I'm going to cast invisibility on myself. Nice. And it kind of just changes my whole appearance so that I blend in with the rest of the background. Neat. Neat. Um, <laughs> it is neat. I just think it's nice. <laughs> <laughs> what are you two doing? Astrid and Zendar. I think Zendar, all Zendar got was a flash of blindness. Right. Hmm. Um, yeah, you know something right. happened. And that's it pretty much. So I, I think Zendar would just be confused and kind of like stagger a bit and maybe like put a, an arm on Astrid's shoulder to like steady himself. Um, and then he would be like, what, what just happened? Um, there was a flash of light and there's a star in the sky. Also, there's a giant tree over there. I realize you can't see. Yes, I can, I can sense him, but, or them, I I don't know, but that flash feels like it has some import. I would hope so. (laughs) Well, I suppose there's nothing we can do about it now. Should we approach the treant, or should we stay hidden? What if they're an enemy? We don't know who they are. Yes, I suppose that makes sense. Are they still talking over there? Like, is, are they saying anything else? Yes, they're just, they seem to just be, they're, they're just talking They're back just like and chatting. Forth. They're like, yeah. what's up, girl? Hey. How are you doing? Hey, I don't know. The forest is so boring. Oh, my God. Like, there's like nothing to do to the fucking forest. <laughs> All these rebel demigods are hanging out around my trees. Um, I mean, we can, but what would we say? I don't know if I can trust Medina. Yes, well, something tells me that there's more at hand here than just what appears to be. I, I don't know why, but I feel as if we can at least if not trust them we can we should see more what their purpose is here and i don't i don't see how we can do that without speaking to them i mean they're definitely they've got to be s that's got to be who they are they're trying to stir something in the temple amongst us they sent bob a letter you know yes well are we just gonna like roll out and be like, "Hey"? <laughs> Perhaps we should get the others. They'll know what to do. Fun. We're already here. They might leave. Uh. Well, it's been good talking to you. <laughs> See, okay. <laughs> All really right. need to shuffle on. <laughs> Is he really saying that? Or are you making a bit? No. I'm doing a bit. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, they might leave. If this is a secret meeting, they're not gonna linger around. This might be our only chance. All right. Um, how about I will stay hidden in the shadows. <laughs> you want me to go out? And, well, it, it may be useful if they are enemies to have something in your back pocket. I we know how this works. You <laughs> like to jump out and fight. Astrid's going to say, fuck, like one Two word. Words. And you're going to stab it. I didn't like his tone. <laughs> Uh, okay, yeah. <laughs> sure. All right. Why not? <laughs> Let's try that then. Do I uh, see them? So as you're walking up, I'm assuming you step out now? I'm going to just step out, and I'm not going to, like, move forward. But I'm going to, like, step out so that they could see me if they looked over. You would see her step out. Full movement, dash, step yes. of the winds yep. to the dorm. You are now at your door. Uh-huh. Theodore, you're in there, correct? Mm-hmm. Go ahead. (laughs) Thanks, Rob. You're welcome. (laughs) You may play. Um, Bust through the door. Theodore. Gosh. 
So, sorry. Uh, no, <laughs> never mind. So no. <laughs> Jeepers. <laughs> this has happened to us before. <laughs> um, uh, Slugs is in trouble. What's wrong? Slugs is captured. We need to go. Okay. And I like tuck the scribe hat away and grab my sword. Let's um, go. Yeah. It's it's all uh, whatever premonitions you have about this whole shebang. Just <laughs> get them tied up in a bow put it to peace but the time to act is either now or in about 15 minutes okay i trust you let's go i trust you we need to help some people let's do it um i'm gonna run back to the balcony she okay. the sword perfect running with you i got you joey you're playing you're oh, not yeah, i'm Dungeons bringing you into this story yeah <laughs> excellent <laughs> all right so astrid you walk out and steel beard Looks over, like almost like almost as a double take, and then straightens up. His eyes open wide, and they're filled with star moths that kind of glow gently inside these huge like knots, you know, of wood on his face. And he goes, "Well, I'm not surprised. Why? Because you're curious. It's in your nature." And he kind of like, like steps forward. Medina like looks up at him as he basically steps over her, and then comes to you, kneels down. Does he do a wink when he says the word nature? What do you mean? No, <laughs> no. Okay. <laughs> so you know, but that's funny I am Great. nature. Your, your nature. A wink. No. And he kind of kneels down and looks at you. You've grown. Yes. That's good. Your fathers were worthy. Are you S? I am still there. Have you been sending letters and signing them S? I do so. I do send them. S. I do, sorry. <laughs> I do send letters and sign them S. I couldn't. Could not say that. I do send letters and sign, and sign them S. I have sent none to you. Did you send some to my friends? I did not. Yes, you did. <gasps> no, he didn't. You motherfucker. Oh, I thought this was the oh, reveal gosh. of who S is. Fuck us. Oh. Oh, I'm so scared. <laughs> <laughs> One fear touching me. <laughs> Wait, me, no fear. <laughs> what if Steelbird is an S? One, One fear. fear. <laughs> um, how do you know my father's? And he leans down. So now his giant face is kind of down next to yours. And he extends one finger. And it's still like, you know, a giant <laughs> branch towards you. As if to take it or... Touch his hand. Do I like? Can I roll inside to see if I feel any like m malice or yes. like weirdness in his? Absolutely. His can I roll inside as well? Sure, absolutely. That's gonna because be I'm very good at insight and I'm also hiding in the shadows. Oh, yeah. uh, Twenty-four. Twenty-four. Nice. Not one. <laughs> <laughs> it's a tree. Zender's like, very how good is a tree inside? moving? <laughs> <laughs> I rolled 24. And yeah. I have a plus you eight to that. feel <laughs> very... It's not, no. You feel yeah. very comfortable. You feel very... Like, like, oddly so. Like, there's a familiarity that you can't understand. <laughs> um, yeah. You, Zendar, you think he's just waiting for the right time to strike. All right. I am definitely going to um, just kind of slip around and try and get a vantage point where I can leap out and <laughs> jump onto his back. Right. Do, right. Can, do I see? Do Zendar? the whole? Yes. Wait. No. Climb Zendar, under. No. Well, I'm, 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 because he's he's in Zendar the shadows. But hidden. roll perception. You. I mean, if you roll. Well, this was before. And roll I walked up to them with, when with they were talking. advantage. Yeah. And I say to Theodore, Theodore, use your full movement and dash. You're not going to kill me. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, what is what is that total up to though? Twenty three, but it's still a nat it, twenty. It's still a nat twenty though. Okay, because my total is twenty five. Oh. I hear you. I hear. I, I hear you. I but I, I've I've always done it where if you get the nat twenty, it supersedes. 
So like it's okay. automatic get. It, 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 That's it, fair. It, it allows like What's a up? smaller a creature to get a and. Usually impossible to strike on something. Yeah, necessarily homebrew. So it, it is rise. Critical is There's skills. Is, is yeah. It's yeah. Crit only is only for attack. It is, yeah. it is hashtag discourse. Amongst. I like it personally. I think it's yeah. fun. So yeah. what you see, we just is lost half our. You game. see Zendar <laughs> like kind of step between shadows, and you see just his foot start to step, and then he's gone, and then suddenly like his back foot leading into a shadows and he's just passing from one to the next, but you can see where he's going. Mind link. All right. Oh, uh, Zendar, what are you doing? Well, I, I sensed that this treant had ill intention towards Astrid. So I was going to um, make sure that I was in a position to strike if necessary. If necessary, if necessary, I suppose, I won't strike first, since I don't know for certain that they have ill intentions, but if they make any aggressive movements, I will certainly strike. Okay. Well, I have some important news that I need to tell both of you. Um, We need to get the hell out of this school. But let's see how this plays out. All right. Don't do anything. That guys are running out. <laughs> Let's just watch for now. All right. All right. I would say. Why are we you running guys to them? I thought we're going to slugs. And are there? We're going to the balcony. Right. Okay. So you two have burst out of the back and just gotten to the <clears throat> balcony. You. I'm putting my hand on Steelbeard's finger. So you put your hand on this branch, and right in front of it, another one, like like a little thin branch comes up and you know how like how wood just underneath the bark is that kind of a little white a little like mushroom looking because it's good because it doesn't have any of its any of its protection one of those kind of comes up out of a steel beard and kind of crawls down your finger and then pierces its, its way into your hand you're instantly shot to a forest a forest do kind I see near that? Where you grew up. You saw it go into her hand. Absolutely. I'm, I'm still mind linked with yep. Zendar. Uh, yep. Uh, so are you in the palace right now? I'm. Yeah. I'm going to do a 50 50. Okay. Because <laughs> I, I had already stated that, and I, I rolled the nat one on insight, so yeah. I really think he has ill intention towards her. Yep. So I'm going to um, higher low. Uh, high, I will you. not attack. <laughs> yeah, and low, I will attack. Oh, if I if I get killed by Steelbeard, uh, that'll be e- epic. Hi. So you don't attack. No, just to the edge of it. So I'm like, uh, okay. It seems like that he's showing her something. And also, you probably will see that there's art. There's like bandages wrapped around that hand as well. Which oh. you might not have I noticed. I didn't know that. Yeah. You didn't know that yeah. before. You might not have asked me about it, but there are like that same hand has like bandages wrapped around it now. Oh. Well, whatever happens, I'm I'm on the other side, so we've got her covered. All right. All right. <laughs> this is some shit. So <laughs> cut back into your own head, basically, and you are in this forest that is near where you lived, near where you grew up. It's just, it's a bit of a walk and it's a old ironwood forest. It's a forest that uh, elves would go to when they wish to lay down bef- before trees and ask for a child. And you see your dads and they're, you know, kind of younger, you know, they're, in, you know, in better shape, right? Less <laughs> gray. Uh, they're, they're, they're kind of joking a lot with each other as they climb through the forest and then one says this tree and anyone's like no 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 this one and they're just kind of like just going deeper and deeper in it's like getting a christmas tree with family (laughs) (laughs) yeah Yeah. so then they get to a small clearing and there's like this mound of earth this perfect little mound and this river kind of snakes around it to almost form an island and there's just one huge ironwood tree in the middle. And, and, okay, this is the one. They're both. Like, this is definitely the one. And they lay down in front of it. And soon they are sleeping. 
or in a trance, but in a much deeper one than elves usually are. This is almost sleep for them. And then you see the tree kind of stretch and move and crack as arms come around and he very and the tree very gently cups your fathers and like puts some moss over them kind of like a blanket and just has it grow up and around them and a little mound grow under their heads for a pillow and as you look it's clearly the same treant that's standing in front of you now and then you're back where you are Does it hurt? No, not at all. And it's it's already the the little vine is already pulled out, and the wound healed as he did so. Why did you show me that? It is easier to show things than to say them sometimes. What did that even mean? My father said I was sent from the sky. You were. I saw it. I witnessed it. And? And I was asked by Ayus to look over you. I don't even know you. I've never seen you before. I know. But I have watched. I have spoken with I have spoken with the trees. I have kept up on you. I have seen you grow. This is very strange. All of this is strange. Who are you, other than Steelbeard? I am the prince of the trees and the demigod of trees. Why have you been watching me? Why you specifically? I don't understand. I'm really confused. I spend a lot of time under the stars. I spend a lot of time watching the full moon. Perhaps I used to thought me a worthy guardian. Otherwise, I do not know. He asked. I served. Are you here to protect me? My friends have told me I'm in danger. I'm here for some other reasons, but I'm always looking out for you. What does Medina have to do with this? I sort of look over to her. <laughs> and Medina just kind of like is standing there. She's in one of her long addresses and she just had kind of has her hands lightly folded across her chest and her head at a slight tilt. Oh, we're old friends. We've known each other for a while. I stole your diary. And she like like an eyebrow raises. She's like I thought maybe you did. Read anything interesting. That you were meeting. S. And now you have met. But there's another S. My pack. We received a letter. Bob received a letter from an S, and if it wasn't you, then I don't know. Could someone it be someone within the temple? We've had this conversation many times as a group. Uh, we don't know. Well, I'm sure you'll figure that out soon. But in the meantime, Steerbeard is very busy. Is there anything else you wish to ask him? Uh, wh why me? And he, you know, looks at you again. And his eyes kind of like soften a bit. And it's hard to judge because they're just these round holes, but they seem to kind of soften. And he puts one little finger very gently on your shoulder. It is never fair when the gods ask us to do things. It is never fair when they look down upon us. I do not know why, but I do know but I will help you as much as I can. This place is bad, right? 
I'm not crazy. We're not crazy. This place is bad, right? He, he looks down at Medina, and Medina like just kind of puts her hands up and at, and rolls her head to the side. And that's at it. At that point, yeah. I take off my invisibility, and I step forward and I say, "Lies, you know who's bad. <laughs> lies, Medina." <laughs> <laughs> Dennis, what are you... Hi, Astrid. What are you doing here? Tell us exactly what is going on here, Medina. Okay. As soon as you say that, you two have gotten to the uh, back of the temple or, or the island that you're on. And you can still see that there is a treant now talking to a couple of people, including Astrid and Janice. Uh, so it's out. Arms out. Yeah, that's <laughs> going on, too. Um, that's not directly related, but... God... Uh, let's just do that too, I guess. Um, Janice is there. Uh, oh, we need to. What did you guys do? I'll talk later. I'll explain later, or maybe I'll explain on the way. I never get why people say I'll explain later as we're running. Yeah, as we're running. As we're running. Let's yeah. predict. Uh, okay, so we went. You did what? To the infirmary, and saw Tamrin there. Checked up on her. She's still in a coma, but Slugs is also there in a prison cell, along with the tortoise. Slugs was imprisoned. Because they asked, they, quote unquote, asked Slugs about Astrid, and Slugs wouldn't tell them. What? I know. In a shocking turn of events, things are fucked here. (laughs) (laughs) That that should be be a shirt. Uh (laughs) One of the shirts. In a shocking shocking turn turn of events. events. Things are fucked here. Or just things are fucked here. Um, And so I say to Medina... We found slugs, and the school has him imprisoned. What? Yes. They're questioning slugs because he apparently, they thought he might have some information on you. What? And there are other students missing. What he says is true. It is not us. Who is it then? Inquisitors. They're part of the school, though, right? They're they use the facilities. They have them locked up. They're seekers, but demigod seekers. They handle things we do not. But you're complicit in this. Yeah. It is not... You're bringing us here to be, what, locked up? What happened to Slugs? He is, he is unharmed and will be, will be released soon. Physical harm is not the only kind of harm, Okay. Where's Wendell? Where's Zali? Zali is back with the others. And Wendell is back with the others as well. What did you do to them? Just, I do not know. They were interviewed by these inquisitors. Who we were knows? not. The inquisitors and the dean. Of course the dean knows. Medina, you're complacent in this. You have lied to us, and you've been shifty. We are trying the best that we can. You are failing, is what you're doing. You all are still alive. As far as I'm concerned, that is a success. It's a low bar. So, yeah. Low bar, real low bar. It's it's a good point, it's a low bar. (laughs) We need to get the hell out of here. You you hear... um, Do not be shocked if this place is burned down, Steelbeard. And he... Again, this looks you right in the eye. And he's like, I believe you will do as you must for your heart. You, you hear, uh, can, can Zendar sneak up right behind Medina? Sure, why not? Uh, sure, so why not? <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Roll a stealth. You gotta roll, you gotta roll yeah. stealth. Well, yeah. Yeah. yeah, I didn't have anything for her character after this anyway, so just go ahead and kill her. I got an 18. I got a total of 21. Yep. You can step right behind her. Um, Get that moody shadow up, man. <laughs> and I just, in her ear, I just say, What the fuck? Where is Slugs? Oh, we know that, though. <laughs> <And> Medina <laughs> turns <laughs> towards <laughs> your voice. This is good, this is good acting. Tell me this is good acting. I'm proud of you. <laughs> Mackenzie, be nice. <laughs> Zenda? Well, I don't know that you guys I know. know. I, know. Yeah, I love you. I love you, Tommy. Zenda? He is in the infirmary. What? He is being held. 
locked in the up infirmary. and interrogated. Was not our against call. his will. Yes. We didn't sign up for this. It doesn't matter if it's not your fault. No, did you're we. letting it happen. You didn't sign up for this, but you let it happen exactly. Things have been changing in the temple lately. It's been three days. <laughs> Since bef- it's been changing two. for some two. time. Forty-six hours, Mackenzie. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> And we are trying, with what we have left, to hold it together. I understand if you feel that is inadequate. Well, very soon, the rest of the students are going to know what's going on. Yeah. I think that's fair. Okay, so... <laughs> yeah, yeah uh, we're not even as, as soon as, as soon as she said where Zendar, or where, where Slugs is, metal, Zendar like just... <laughs> He is is starts running for the uh, for the infirmary. Okay. Well, it's not c- it's not connected to this, but hang on for one yeah. second. So you you two now come running up with again swords and shields yeah. out. What? Yeah. Is going on? Those I this swords was, ready to go. <laughs> this is like a secret meeting. I crashed, and now everyone's showing up. They have slugs. This is a party. We know. We found that out. Hello. Hi. Hey. What's this? I We're yelling at. Well, oh, I <laughs> I think this, this is. This is my, I don't know, my guardian. What are you? I am your birth tree. What the f- I don't- Wait, ew, what? Ew, what? Ew, ew, ew. <laughs> Guys, they have slugs. Let's go. No, this is- I don't I have agree with those. Bob. There's no time for this. Oh, hey, Zen, I didn't see you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wait. I just am still in the shadows. Your father's talking. thought that you were not born from a birth tree because you were not wrapped in the leaves. Are you my parent? Do I have another dad? I am not. But I feel for you as one might as a parent. But am I the... I'm not... I don't have your powers. I'm not going to be... As I know, they don't like children that are made from multiple... You are not a child of mine. I was simply assisting your father. This is a lot. Okay. I have no idea what's going on, but <laughs> yes. are you in trouble, Astrid? I think so, yeah. And yeah. what is that up there in the sky? Who yeah. says that it's coming? It's not stationary. It's moving. What? Did you do that? Oh, Theodore, <laughs> there's a big sorry. <laughs> <laughs> have you read The Great Gatsby before? <laughs> Oh yeah, it's one of my favorite books. <laughs> yeah, well, do you know you. anything about the American Dream? Uh-huh. Um, green, green light, at uh, very far distance. We're staring at it. Still, beard. What is that? Silbert looks up, and then squints and looks carefully. Not carefully enough. <laughs> I do not know. It cannot be good. No. Who's coming with me to get slugs? Oh. Ask her if you're okay. We're we're gonna go get slugs. Yeah. Um. Uh, yes, we should do that. Tidor, can you um uh, summon your your well, scribe pad? Thing? Where are you going to go? Yeah. Who who are you talking to? I'm Still sorry. Weird. I will return to my forest. How can I call you if I need you? And Steelbird reaches down and plucks six leaves off of his hand and hands them to you. Got them digits. Got them digits. (laughs) Speak into anyone and cast it upon the wind. Okay. He nods and he stands, towers over all of you, and he starts walking back towards the elevator. Wait, still good. He stops and he turns. You may save me some time if you know this. And I walk up to him to get really close. Sure, kneels down. The others can't hear. You know who made me? Yes. Do you know who made the others? If you've been around long enough? Oh, let's see. All right. You know what? He might be <laughs> able to and I, and I kind of Brings out some branches, I, glasses. Uh, <laughs> I, kind of, I kind of turn to my friends and I say, and I, and I, and I pull back my, my hand. What happened? Um, well, no, this is I'm you trying to do oh, private. Yeah, yeah. Um, and I say, I think this will help me, and I want to help the others. I think we all need to find our people. Do you know who? Or do you know who would know? I don't know. Let me see. Is everyone here? Yeah, everyone's standing. Yeah. 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 Okay, let's start with Saint Barb. Okay, 
stares at you for a long time. Looks at the Ooh, bone. We don't have a long time. But I guess I have fists out. I don't know. Yeah, I, right. I mean, if I was running for the combat. You were, gonna, you were running in, yeah, kind yeah. of like amped up, little, little, little bone armor there. So the, or, the horns are oily. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Why is it always oily? <laughs> Uh, so okay, so it looks for a while. Wait, and then you Rob, your, your thing phone flashed. with you? Uh, phone yeah, I probably would have grabbed it if I was here. getting... Yeah, because it's another like something popped up on okay. it. Um, old place. Yeah, I got it. I was going to go... Yeah, we were going to battle, so... Just but throw out probably like a little bit. I'm with you right now. I'm leaning over his shoulder, as I like to do the helicopter parent that I am. Trying to like be like, how do you open up... It seems like I won't have the time to probably break up the dean's office. I can't read what it is. I'm going to push it. I'm just trying to throw it. Stop, stop pushing it. No, don't push that. Sure. I'm like watching, but yeah, I'm hoping watch. maybe he can just tell yeah, us. I want to, that's like what I wanted to do is help everyone know. Door so the other room. after looking at you for a while, that would definitely help. Yeah. He leans back. Okay. Um, three, so and then two, one walks over to you and leans down. I forgot where we were. He was, <laughs> he was looking, Stubier was looking at Barb to see if he knew. Do I know your right godparent is? Right. I'm asking him to know if he knows who the others. And he whispers, Whoa, hey, your parents name. Is, is, what are you doing, Aram? Is this, I know the name, yes. no one else is going to hear it? You, you you can choose to tell people or not. I don't think anyone else knows the secret. Okay, I hear the name. Okay. Turns to you. Well, who's that? What? <laughs> <laughs> I, I walk up to Barb and I, or I'll let him finish. Oh, sure. So it uh, turns to uh, Janice and... No, my name's Barb. <laughs> <laughs> Gently... Puts two fingers on your shoulder and then lifts them up. And as he uh. does, your wings unfold from your back. It doesn't cost you one of your tries. Okay, they, yeah, but well, they ran out anyways. Them. Right, exactly. <laughs> so they just unfold from your back. Oh, yeah, and uh, Janice can do that. He stares at you for a moment and leans down and whispers in your ear the name of your godparent. I nod. I pretty much guess. You know who the was. name, yeah. yeah. Hey, Puna. All right. Hey, Puna. Theodore. The treant comes towards you. Do you still have your sword out? I'm like juggling a bunch of slip. <laughs> like I'm using the sword to prop like the scry pad up, right. so I can like like I'm trying to like go through like the camera feeds and be like, right. okay, people are walking here, get the so we can get we there. Need the disc. The disc, we, the oh, we're going to summon the disc yeah, to us? Okay, so I'm trying to summon the disc to us. Okay. So you're... It's a little more important. As as uh, as he's walking up... Sorry. As he's walking up then, you're just trying to summon this disc over mm-hmm. and over, and it keeps like... Uh, uh, mm-hmm. uh, and you're just not able to get because it. Because Barb keeps touching it. Will you sorry, stop? Sorry. sorry. <laughs> I, I, I don't... What? After a minute, Medina, she's she like kind of walks up be, uh, behind you, and she reaches over... And she clicks on your ascribe pad, pulls up like a password box, types in her password, it's and hits password enter. One. <laughs> <laughs> Lies one. That's what it is. Right. I use sucks with an X. <laughs> <laughs> and then there's like a flash of green, and whatever she did has now allowed you to have access to that disk. And I just like look at her. I don't say anything. I start summoning it to us. Yep. And it lifts off and starts coming okay. your your way. Uh, st- and a st- uh, Steelbeard is next to you now, and he kneels down and looks right at you. God, he's so low to the ground. Yeah, I know he had to lay real <laughs> low. Like, this yeah, big. super he's low. Like, this big. <laughs> yep. And then gets even a little lower, just so he can look you right in the eyes. And he's like maybe you know two My body's inches as big away. As his eye. Yeah, just this basically <laughs> in the eye, and he's gonna try. Yeah, he then kind of moves his head around. He knows everybody. Yeah, yeah tree boy gets around and whispers the name of your godparent. Like just just says the name. Yeah. yeah. Again, Bob like, is confused. I was That's gonna I was, like, I was right. gonna let this Stilbert like, walk away, and then I was gonna tell you your all father what I did. or parent nope. or mother no, or I got, I'll, being I got it. is That's this. A, it's just I was they're, gonna do just, it. they're just saying the god of. Yeah. Not, not okay. even saying the name. Yeah. Okay. Can you be seen right now? No. Yes. He, well, he, he made himself known. I made myself known. Yeah. Because I stepped. Yeah. 
All right. You teleported the shadows of her ear crevices. <laughs> so comes around over to Zendart now. Zendart is down, very wary. And looks Zendart right in the eyes Got and kind of down. moves to the left and right and realizes you're not, you are blind. And then kind of gently puts like a branch to either side of your head and looks right at you. And you can like, see them because there's a large outline yeah i can feel them in right. front of me mm -hmm. stares for a long time and then pulls back i am sorry but i cannot see <laughs> yeah, <me either>. <laughs> 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 Yo, yo, tree guy, read the room, all right? Yeah, really? <laughs> Yeesh. Um, thank you anyway, Steelbeard. Of course. Who are you? What, how do you know this information about us? My name is Barb. Wait, also Steelbeard, is that S? Uh, Steelbeard is Ness. We um, gotta get slugs. Wait, also slugs! <laughs> yes, yes, but, uh, okay, I thought this was important. We will go get him in a second. I asked Steelbeard if he knew who your godparents were, because... I think we need them. And I and I show my hand, which is like this like glistening silver mark on it. I say, Bob, you helped me. He claimed me. Oh fuck. Oh, dude. Yeah. Thank you. That's amazing. Yeah, no, hold on. And I wanted I want that all for us, and I think it'll help, and I think it's what we need. So now we can find yours, right? Uh, yeah. So, sorry to spring that on you, but... No, it's okay. It seems like no one else was going to tell us. <clears throat> I tried to figure it out, and I really... Uh, never mind. Um, I told you. you I would help you. Thank so. you. No, yeah. Um, I looked at Janice. I threw a thumbs up. We fixed it. Um, <laughs> slugs. Slugs. You have to go get slugs. Yeah. Um, Medina? You right, are you asking me to come? Are you... Yeah, well, actually... Are you with us? You know yeah. exactly what's going on. Yeah, actually... Just go get slugs Medina? then. Medina? What the heck? Yeah, and I sort of like, I like do my hair and I like show off my mark and I'm like, yeah, I think you might want to come with us. Yeah, Medina, now that I think about it, can you actually go get slugs for us or can you come along with us? All right. Cool. All right, where's that disc? And the desk, it just like Sounds literally right. just you know, slides right up as you're Voice saying that. Voice activated. I like it. <laughs> all right. um, I'm the first one on. Let's go. Let's go. Who's going? I think we're all going. We're all going. going. Steelbeard's leaving, right, though? Uh, Steelbeard is leaving. Cool. He turns to you and it's like, Mount. I meant to give this to you as a graduation present, but it seems that you'll need it now. This and place is burning down well before graduation. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think he's kind of getting that feeling. Yeah. So he unfolds it's his arm. Car. And like basically <laughs> what did you say? It's a car? It's an old car. Old car. <laughs> if it's a bow, a I will shoot Civic. you yeah. in the face if it is a bow and arrow. <laughs> Pulls back this like round wooden disc, small barely larger than say a saucer and it has a uh, leather strap to it this will help protect you it plays cds <laughs> 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 what, what is what is this and he <clears throat> takes it out of your hand for a moment and his giant it's a ball with like leather around no, it no 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 like l l l it's like a wooden disc. Okay. And then like like a small ball of uh, brass in the center of it. Okay. And it's then a shield. It's right? got, it's, it looks like a tiny little shield. Exactly. Like a buckler or whatever. But even smaller. Okay. And so even though his giant hands are giant, he is able to very deftly attach this to your arm. Okay. And as soon as he does, it glows with magic. Think, Think of it, it as larger. larger. Think of it as larger? Yeah. Sit in your mind. I try to do that. All right, roll me just a straight will. <clears throat> what? Not will, not will, not a thing. Roll me, <laughs> <laughs> roll me a straight wisdom. Yeah, nine. <laughs> yeah, fuck yeah. <laughs> Leans in and says, 
focus. And as you're, and he just kind of like whispers it over you. You can feel, you can feel like the movement of leaves and wind through his leaves. And there's just like this quiet, peaceful tranquility. And then you feel a jolt and the shield is blown on your arm to a full-size shield with straps and everything. Okay. You feel like it could grow even larger. Oh, jeez. Okay. Um. <laughs> you go sledding on it. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm going to use it for, right? Um, a nice umbrella. I'll, I'll make it small again. I'll okay. wait to try that yeah. out later. Because we have right to back. be somewhere. All right. <laughs> She Does that count as, like, can I still dual wield if I have yes. this thing? Okay. Yes, you can. Oh. Cool. Yeah, this is a special thing. It's yeah. a special thing. Mm-hmm. It's a magic item. It's yep. your magic. Um, yeah, I'll hop on that disc. Okay, then Steelbeard wave. waves back and looks a little sad and then walks back onto the platform and begins to lower. As that happens, Medina steps onto the <laughs> platform. Snakes on. What was that? Snakes on? She doesn't have legs. <laughs> no. The, she, she does. What? what? Does. Sosomu. Sosomu Sosomu does Sosomu does not have legs. She just got legs. Sorry, I was thinking it's Sosomu. They're both the same You do the same voice in yeah, uh, physicality. There's, there's what is, what is Medina? Medina is, is the demigod of lies. I know, but... She's just a human. human. Yeah. She's just a person. <laughs> yeah, she's a person. She said, Unlike all outline. these freaks. No, that tree birthed me. That's weird. Yeah. What was its name? Steel beard. Oh shit, is that S? They're not S. That's what I asked. They said that they've sent letters what? to people in the temple, in but not <coughs> the one to you. I asked specifically. So there's somebody else named S. So why was Steelbeard here? We all turned to Medina. <laughs> oh, uh, Medina's like, well, there's. Well, sorry. I assume we're moving the disc. Yeah. We're going at this mm-hmm. point, right? Uh, Medina looks at both of you, and she has the papers that Steelbeard handed to her. Well, he had, he had information for me. I have been working with some friends outside of the temple to try and regain a hold on the temple. It has not been easy, but it has been helpful. I know things here are wrong. I'm not 100% sure why, <coughs> beyond what happened last year. And we're trying, well, some of us are trying to fix it. Who else? And she would say, so her uh, Archon Cardani, uh, Archon, uh, no, it's not, not, sorry, not Archon, uh, Roswin, Harold Roswin, mm-hmm. and uh, Archon Dima. Bullshit. <laughs> What she says. Lies. Lies. <laughs> and not Ryle, man. I'm sad. Yeah, Ryle's yeah, not Ryle's yeah, Ryle's cool. not on board. Ryle's not done with the sickness. Mm. Damn. So are you aligned with the rebels, the ones that attack the temple? No. No. The barbarians. Chaos is no answer either. We can't have martial law and we cannot have everyone just running about doing whatever they choose. We need to find something in the middle. Oh. And that's what we're working what on. What about um, uh, Leah, Al- Aliyah, Al- uh, shield, shield Lady? What's her name? Oh, Alina. Alina. Yes. Is she done with the sickness? No. Cool. We're going to need you to do your lie business. <laughs> All right. And the disc lowers down to the hospital building and docks. Your time to shine, Medina. Use your test. She straightens up. And she walks over to the front door and goes inside. What are the rest of you doing? So are we going with her? There's a back entrance if you want to go there. Yeah, like five people. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah. What? Oh, what? Were we seen when the door opened? I mean, did we see Alina? Alina is right there at the front desk, just like last time. And so, so probably saw us when the door opened. Also probably would notice the big thing That's sliding in. Yeah. yeah. We yeah. might as well just go in. Yeah, we might as well just go in. Yeah, why not? You, you guys, were you guys here like 20 minutes ago? <laughs> yeah. Yes. Are we going to get blazing? Or? <laughs> That's right. They were just Well, here. <laughs> we're seeing what Medina can do okay. with her divinity. All right, so you. Oh, I, can, I hate when you guys make me talk to N- NPCs. Hello. <laughs> Hi, Aram. It's Aram. I know. It's the worst. Okay, so Medina walks in, 
and she just kind of glides right in and just and just you know walks straight up to the counter and leans forward and press her hands on the counter. Hello, Alina. Oh, um, hey, Medina. And then looks around and sees all of you. It's getting kind of close to lights out, isn't it? Well. You don't say. <laughs> I have some students here who have some concerns about oh. how their fellow students are being treated. And Alina just kind of looks at her. And like, like, you know, like, what's, are you really doing this? Is this what's happening? And then she slowly stands up, all six foot, two of her, mm. and she leans what? forward. She's, she's big. big. So wait, sorry, right, there's a new wife. I, need, I know, I need a description. <laughs> yeah, wait, what does this person look like? <laughs> okay. um, tall woman, please yeah, tell me who oh, she yeah. is. So, um, so she. How dark is this keep place? Your pants I would, straight. How like, dark is this place? There's un- they they <laughs> keep it dim <laughs> so that the patients can sleep. So there's enough shadows where you could just step away. Okay, I'm I'm gonna try and get behind her just in case we have to. He's ready to just like stab someone in the back. It's, it's my job. Everyone's thrilled. It's my job. <laughs> we're going to we're going to breakfast. Is the chef in there? Yeah. <laughs> Are there any shadows? Wait, How well is the kitchen? Wait, the, in, the energy of Zendar is the energy of that photo with the crab holding a knife. Yeah. <laughs> That's like the energy. In. That's the energy of Zendar. Oh, God, yes. Oh, man. <laughs> So Alina stands up and she leans forward and she says, you know, I don't have anything to say about that. I do what the inquisitors ask. Hey, Bob, what direction is Fox in? Down the hall. I just start walking. Down the hall. Okay. To the left. She steps around the desk and there, and she also has two bucklers on her arms hers are made out of metal and as she steps around the desk they both grow into shields and she grabs the straps at the bottom and she just kind of stands there and she's got a like a, she didn't look mean she's got a nice look on her face right um <laughs> she's, she's, she's a nice lady yeah this, you know this, I mean, we're not cocking guns here yeah, at all yeah, around right. but at the same point she's clearly making it known that you're not getting down this can hallway. zendar just slip past uh, roll I'll try to distract, a, yeah. Yeah, roll a, um, not hide, what the hell's it called? Sneak. Sneak for Medina stealth. to do roll stealth. Yeah, right, why did she well, just she throw just, us under the because bus? Because she came out and was like, hey, they're doing that. Like, she didn't even try to lie. Yeah. <laughs> like, she didn't even try. I don't try. think she's the demigod of 27. Life, she's when lying we, about the view of the demigod of life. Yes. <laughs> Yes, then, Dar, with the 27, you got behind her. I rolled a 19 and I have a plus 8. Yeah, you definitely got behind her. Lord. Well, is he, like, I think he's trying to get around her. All right, hallway. so I'm, I'm just going down the line. hallway trying to find slugs. Okay, so so you start going down the hallway. She's facing off against you. Mm-hmm. So what are you doing? Can, can I see that he did that? I mean, Wait, also, cool. is Luna with you? No. 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 I left her at the door. Right. Right. It's a dogless astrid. Okay. Dog dog dog. I know it's sad. Dog dog. It's all totally sad. I mean, yeah, well, because everyone was like, this... we gotta go right now, and yeah. so like Luna was at the <laughs> Luna was at the freaking door, and never we never got to go get her. Luna's is it just... fine steed rules? Can is this like? Can you just dismiss know, Luna sucks? and then when I right when I'm behind <laughs> Alina, I would just um, materialize oh, like a hand. With a with a thumbs up. <laughs> right, right, right. Wait, you're behind you can see. When, I, when I'm right directly yes. behind her, so right. I like materialize a hand up in the air uh, so that uh, you just come out of the Ashley can see. Yeah, right. yeah. <laughs> a hand just comes out of the shadows. Like, yeah. all right. Okay, First so I all, so I know he's way out behind her. Yeah. Watch Medina lie. 2019. We need to get this petition going. I want to see her do something. Um. Yeah. So once I see Zendar, I'm like, oh, these are love. I just got one myself. <laughs> <laughs> these are lovely. I'm Astrid, by the way. Hi. You're I am tall. Alina. Nice to meet you. It's nice to meet you. And she I mean she is tall. She's tall and muscular. I love tall muscular yeah. women. So. She has her hair That's kind a of big up in a bun. Mood you know. Right there. <laughs> I Give me some Medina. of that Zara yeah. fanfic. I nudge. Oh. Yeah. And right. that's, that's what I picture what? here. Is this like Zarya? Zarya. I yeah. thought you were gonna Zarya. do Zarya. Uh, what do you think? My God. And she walks over. She's like, oh, don't make me use my powers. <laughs> no. I don't have any fucking powers. <laughs> Alina. Surely you don't actually want to do this. This is not what we're supposed to do. This doesn't go to the mission. It's not truth. 
is it? And as she's talking, like her words are getting slower and they feel kind of echoey and strange. Did anybody think that she would just do her shit on us? Like, yeah, we've just, we went all in with Medina. <laughs> just saying. So you see Alina kind of like sway for a second and her eyes are getting heavy. And then she just blinks it away and she looks pissed. Uh-oh. And she's like, all right, that's it. Get the hell out of my hospital. All of you. I would like to try and... So you know how in a desk <laughs> there's... You step to one side. Yes. Um, and they're big and they're having their little game. I want to activate my ability tummy time. Um, it's not an actual ability. I want to go tummy time and try to crawl around and uh, sneak down the hallway. Okay. I would like you to roll stealth. Giving the audience the tummy time they want. You only have to be an eight. Because mm. Lita's occupied. The, the, oh. Which With that dice. Rolling? Wait, <laughs> yeah. which dice are you rolling? I got a four, but I have a plus six, so ten. <gasps> I rolled a four too. That's great. Hey. All right, well done. So you so she's way occupied and you are able to get around her. Yes, and down the hallway. Now, hold it for a sec. Zendar, you have gotten down the hallway at this point, and so there's like a big hallway down with double doors at the back and doors along the side. And then there's another little smaller hallway that branches off to the left and two doors kind of in that corridor. Hmm. Um, probably I'm just, I'm just going to be checking doors as I, as I go by. Sure. Like, like just can I, can I, I, I like press my hand against the door, try and, listen slash feel for what's inside and then move on to the next one. So the two to your left are the first doors you come across. Yeah. And as you touch the first one, you can see the room. You can have an idea of what's in the room and it's empty. And you get to the second one, just as you sense Barb basically crawling up on you and you touch the door and know instantly that slugs is in there. All right. I, the same one you saw earlier. Is there a lock? Uh, just a handprint. You know, like basically it looks like one of the scry pads just embedded into the door. And it is see-through? Uh, as no. In, as in so it is transparent? It gets or? see-through. Like it's stone, but as you approach it, it gets, it gets more and more see-through until you're standing next to it, and then the walls may as well be glass. What I'm saying is can I go through it? Uh, yes, with your abilities, you absolutely can. All right, I will go into the cell. All right, you crawl right up just in time to see Zendar kind of vanish through the wall, and then they're inside with slugs. Okay. You guys. So you're now uh, facing off against the demigod of, pro- of protection who very much wants you to leave her hospital. We're not leaving without our friends. And I want to like full metal alchemist my diamond plate up. Yes. And, like, I was going to go in the go. back door, but I guess we're getting There's lit. <laughs> she watches that and her eyes. We need a distraction, n- right? Her, so. <laughs> yeah. And her eyes kind of narrow. And she's like, no, you'll be going now. And she hits a button on her desk and there's a loud siren that starts going off and a deep red light. I take my hand, I smash the button. Okay, all right. <laughs> uh, the button breaks. I would like you I to, want to roll, break the I'd button. like you to roll strength. <laughs> Please roll an addy too. 11. That's good. Okay. That's good. All right. so, so you smash the button, it doesn't break, but it does turn off. It turns everything off. It's <laughs> a horrible like, security horrible alarm system. system. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Poorly designed. They, that's not how they work Just in banks the around. You the button and, and it goes. Yeah. Tapping it over off. and over again. <laughs> on, off, on, off. It's like slaps now. Gosh. Yeah. And she. I just stare at her. And okay, now she is pushing you back with her shield. She's going to shove you back with one of the shields. I tackle her. All right. If she's engaging Initiative. with Astrid, yep. I'm just going to full on low body take her tackles down. tackles 
her. Can I try to climb over her and run <laughs> down the hallway? <laughs> <laughs> Just right. if that's successful. Go get slugs! Right. I would like I everyone this. in the waiting room to roll initiative. Fucking Do you need hell. me to... If you don't mind, please. Oh, oh, I did speak of which, I ordered us an initiative, a tracker. Oh. Yeah. It's got little flags on it yeah. where you can write everyone oh. down and critical role use it. It looks like it'd be a lot of fun. We're going to be make official. Yeah. They also use these. <clears throat> they do use this. Aren't these great? A beautiful wormwood trays. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, one of my favorite things is the sound the dice it's make. So yes, nice. it's like, satisfying. Mm -hmm. It really is. Oh. It totally oh. is. For all types of materials too, the plastic and the um, the metal. The metal. Me Look how like, cool uh, metal sounds. Oh. Ooh, that's a loud girl. Gills that die. Is, that is a nice sound. And it rolls so well. I just can't read what that is. That was terrible. Ignore that. You know what? Wait, wait, wait. I want to. Try oh God. <sighs> One. Oh, yes. Keep that. <laughs> keep that dice that's out. Your keep that dice out. Tudor goes first. They rolled an eighteen. Let's go. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sorry. Everyone, uh, yeah, yeah, <laughs> all yeah. listeners ever. I will. She. I will take that one for her. Let's go. Initiative. Wait, really? Yep. No. I'll take it. no I'll I take rolled it. it. I said roll yeah. for initiative, and that's yeah, the first roll I made. <laughs> so her initiative is now seven. Seven. Okay. Plus six to initiative. Fucking hell. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Uh, she got uh, anything above a twenty? Nope. Uh, twenty to fifteen. Eighteen. Is that trans dice? Trans dice. Uh, fifteen to ten. Twelve. 10 to 15? Sorry, shit, fuck. What did uh, you get? 10 to 5? <laughs> what did you get? I got a 7. Oh. Wait, what did Medina roll? Oh, I didn't. I had a ROM, I swear. I still don't know if Medina's really with Medina us. Medina rolled a 14. Of course it's in between two. And yeah, that was, <laughs> that was like not even trying. No, you would have done so much better. <laughs> yeah, I was like, maybe. Feel your feet for a second. I was waiting for the ambush. <clears throat> and what did Alina get? A 6? Or seven? Alina got a 7. Has higher dexterity, Janice or Lena. Well, she got a nat one, so uh, maybe she should. She has a yeah. She got a nat one by so proxy. Right. Yeah, yeah. Last she's just last. Gracious DM. I try. Well, he does that with ones and twenties. He's very yeah. not against his own PCs enough, though. <clears throat> okay, first thing orders to you, uh, and battle begin. Heaven or hell, let's rock. Yeah. <laughs> Guilty, guilty. Oh, guilty. 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 I guilty. honestly thought the temple <laughs> yeah, was going to last guilty. a little longer than this, but it lasted three days. Really? <laughs> Did you know? Genuinely think Not that. even three days. When <laughs> I first started it, I thought Ram, I was presenting... this is the end of the second day. I know. I thought I was presenting no, this is these... Yeah, teachers as like challenging but maybe not completely you play them so wishy-washy and weird i know and, and like we, we're like fuck you guys you need, yeah. to, you need to listen to uh to janice and i's uh sneak time because it See, is now most, we can it is the most wishy-washy and the most bar being frustrated <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> i need strong points of view in this right. temple <laughs> all right so two door Take it away. Yeah. Um, seeing Ariana Grande uh, coming <laughs> in. I'm bustling Ariana Grande. <laughs> All right, so. And hitting up on um, Astrid. Oh, yeah, right. I'm just full hitting on. Hitting up on me. <laughs> so you are going to tackle grapple. to grapple. All right. Yeah. Then grapple let's tackle. Roll, uh, tackle. roll strength against each other, correct? You can choose to you they oppose, uh, you can choose to roll decks. Well, if I'm you definitely want. rolling a strength. Yeah. Are you sure yeah. you don't want to do decks? I got a 14. That was sitting on a 20. Oh. No. You have Eight, a lot of pluses. What's your plus? Seven, What's your plus? Seven. No. I don't, I'm not that big in strength. Uh, 11. Okay. So you run up and just leap in the air to do a tackle. And you got a pretty good vertical. It's surprising, right? So you get some good height. And she gets an arm in there and gets between you and her and kind of pushes you off mm -hmm. to the side. Okay. Is that your turn? <laughs> yes, um, I mean, uh, well, well, I guess I could cast a bonus action, right? Please do. That's action. <laughs> I'm like, wait a second, I had to remember what I what I actually had. How do I play this game? Yeah, how do I? <laughs> how do we play this Dungeons and Dragons? I don't do that anymore. <laughs> uh, Dungeons and Dragons. No, Which dice hits? Okay, Medina. Okay. Show us your strength. Medina. Fucked up that lie. <laughs> what the Looks hell does like, Medina does do? not want to be here. 
clearly. Well, you know, you she know. could suck my ass. Okay, but <laughs> Whoa! she could use her action to suck my Whoa! to suck my butt, look, Medina. She, look, she came, and frankly, she's got a lot more to lose than you kids right now, and she still came. We have to lose our lives. Yeah, <laughs> what really. What the fuck is no, she fair. losing? My tenure. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, no, that's like sad. That's like literally real life. Yeah, it really that's is. real life. It's yeah. like we're all like, hey, we're drowning in debt and want to die, and they're like, but our tenure. Yep. <laughs> I can't sexually assault students. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> Holy hell. <laughs> this gets so weird. All right. Okay. <clears throat> Medina? So she looks again at Alina. Good move. And <laughs> clearly is not going to get Use physically Use her action to engaged. look. Well, she's not going to get physically engaged. It's just not going to happen. It's just here. He's throwing get... himself against a wall. Extends <laughs> Thanks, a couple fingers towards her. And she fails. So she glows. Medina. Brightly, there's just like a, there's like this outline of phosphorescent light all around her now, and now you and everyone who attacks her has advantage. Oh. Who would, wait? What? Medina. Oh, oh, uh, fair, fair. Ariana Grande failed. Yes. not Medina. Okay. Right, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> what are you calling right, Ariana Grande? Grande? I don't know. I can't think of her name. That's what that's what Ashley, showing. You're right. called her. You're right. You're right. Oh, hey, um. I am going to close my eyes and think about the buckler as big as I possibly can. Okay. <laughs> <Don't know. laughs> All right. You split the infirmary in half. So basically, it grows into a tower shield, which is the kind of shield that you know the Romans would have, and they would plant into the ground, and it would still be higher than them, mm -hmm. so they could hide behind it, maybe shoot around it. So you have this giant, it probably weighs 20, 30 pounds. I'm just going to push against her, I guess. Okay. I don't uh, know. Let's Try to push her down the hallway. Like let's roll strength against each other. I'm so weak. Why am I like this? I got a 19. I got a 12. All right. So she was able to push Man, Theodore off with one arm and keep she's you at formidable. bay with the other, and she has not lost her ground. She's distracted. Formidable. Yes, she, she is. is. Well, you two do things. All right. So, Janice. Janice? I want to use my recalled trauma ability. Uh, wow. <laughs> Man, it's always like, okay, go ahead, go ahead. I want to get her trauma out, though. I want to oh, wrestle yeah. with her. I want to get past her with my big shield. I want to break her. <laughs> I want to. to so I oh, say. You wrote her trauma, right? I hope you have that backstory right now. I'm doing it right backstory. now. I'm doing it. I'm hurrying. Hang on. I say, Tommy, what are your fears? Tommy? T T Tommy, what are your fears? <laughs> That's what I thought you said. Tommy, uh, what are your well, fears? Emotional attachment? <laughs> uh, so, wisdom saving throw. Wisdom. Oh, okay. That's not her best one. 12. Uh, that's gonna be a fail. That's a save DC of 15. Right. And yeah. Fail. And she oh. failed. Get a no from me, dog. Um, so I push Medina aside. Let me handle this. <laughs> <laughs> and the student has uh, become the teacher. So you're taking <laughs> um, three points of psychic pain, and I delve deep into her experiences, and, and what is it that really like makes her afraid? Okay. So figure that out around you see her on a ship and she is in the middle of the ship near the mast just clinging to it as far down in the hold as she can possibly get there's water that sloshes in and you see her kind of like pull away from it and she is just like deathly pale uh, looks like she's been sick for weeks and throughout this entire incredibly long journey that she had to be on, it seemed to torment her every single day. You can see her right now as she's remembering this break out into beads of sweat on her forehead and her jaw trembles. Say, the ground below you is really rocking. You're swaying, there's water that's rising up. I think you might drown in this. Okay. How does uh, this you're work? incapacitated. Janice oh, is so great. three rounds. Oh, 
this is that this is that one ability. You do get you <laughs> yep. do get you do get to um, roll another wisdom saving throw on your subsequent turns. But for now, if, you are distracted. Yeah. Okay. Uh, it's beautiful. Yeah, she, <laughs> or when they take damage. <laughs> right. I'm reading. She yes. looks terribly, terribly ill and is now just standing there. She lowers her arms. Uh, you, uh, uh, Theodore was pressed up against a wall. She lowers mm-hmm. that shield and gets out of the way of Astrid. Yeah, I pop, quickly. She's distracted. Yeah, I pop the shield back to be small and I run down the hallway. <laughs> so you all kind of run past, right? And then, being, like, trailing you is Medina, who just kind of like click, click, a click, <laughs> and just looks at Alina for a a moment and you can just see like you know she wants to slap her <laughs> but also knows better and Don't then slap her continues when she to takes walk. damage. <laughs> yeah. Now we've got uh Barb. I mean she's and what incapacity for three three 18 three. seconds. I know that's what I I'm going to just stay there between the hall. You're watching her. Uh, yeah, I'm I'm watching ready. You do what you need to. We can leave out the back door. All right. Yeah, I, I'll just stand behind Theodore to make sure. I'll I go. Get hit. I'll go <laughs> nice. find. I'll go find Barb and Zendar. Okay, so okay. Make sure you, you crouch. Yeah. You walk back. Now you just saw Zendar enter the room. Zendar, you are in the room next to a bed where Slugs is laying on it. Slugs, wake up. <sighs> I slap him. What the fuck? We don't have time for this. No! Uh, oh, oh. Hey, Zen. How are you in here? We've come to get you out. Okay, okay but I don't want to say anything about my friend. Don't Astrid. worry. Don't We're not going to question you about Astrid. Astrid's with us. Oh, I agree. Let's go. All right, um... We're going to have to figure out a way out of here. Uh, what, what is a room? What is, like, are there any... Because I can feel for, like, crevices and stuff. Like, sure. any exits, but I can't, like... Yeah, there's, like, a vent. Okay. Yeah. There's a vent. There's a vent that's certainly large enough for slugs. Okay. Maybe not so much you. Oh, yeah, I don't need I can I can it. see them, right? Yes, absolutely. As I as I'm seeing Zendar like look around and feel for something, I'll just start like focusing all of the bone on one fist and like kind of point to it with like a shrug being like maybe this? Yes, no? I don't know. You and walk I'll, up. I'll, I'll mime punching it <clears throat> and then shrug. <laughs> Astrid, you walk up as Barb is doing this. <laughs> <laughs> Are you dancing? Oh, uh, no, Zendar, uh, yes. All right. No, um, I'm, yeah, uh, Zendar's in there. Uh, he has oh. slugs, but I'm trying to figure out if the way to get them out is is to break this, and I have a breaking arm. All right, I'm going to try, and uh, how high up is the vent? It's like Who puts a vent feet. in a prison? Rookie eight mistake. Well this, is, well, this is a hospital. Slugs okay. is in a hospital. So it's you being used yeah, as a prison, but yeah. Um, I can break the door, maybe. All right, I I will uh, shoot my darts, uh, uh, my my shadow blades up at at the vent to try to cut uh, through the um what what holds it onto the like the the cover basically. Okay, uh, roll to hit. Uh, okay. That is a nine. Nine. Okay. So you threw shadow. You threw shadow darts that slammed into the wall, and then nothing. Like they, they didn't hit at all. <laughs> okay. I'm, I'm punching. What I'll are punch. you punching? Right. Huh? What are you punching? I'm just gonna punch. It's just it's it's, it's a, a wall, wall made yeah. of similar materials of the scribe pad that look like stone until you approach them and turn transparent so that you can see through them when you approach. All that's right. Easy to that's easy to hit. So, uh, roll strength. Like attack plus strength? So what do you want me to do? You want to roll? But we need attack. No, just strength. Just strength. Yeah. So like just a d20 add my strength modifier? Yeah. Okay. Okay. That's what you're saying. Okay. 15. Okay. So you punch it and there's a like a hairline crack in it. 
but that's all that really happens. Well, this is an unlimited resource to an extent. That's true. So I'm yeah. going to do I'm Flurry just, of Bones. All right. Hang on. So you get ready to wind up again. I'm also just going to shoot as many blades as it, at it as I can right. in a short <laughs> period. <laughs> I'm just watching the two of them. I was like, oh, okay. And right. they, they disappear after they hit, so, yeah. um, so I can just keep... It's like that scene in Lego Batman when he threw like 18 things then finally hit. No, like, none of us try. have seen Lego Batman. Fine, I'm the only one. <laughs> <pillar. laughs> no problem. So really all the things that you see that I, we do, like. I got a niece and a nephew. What do you want? Uh, I think it's a really good there. movie, though. It's yeah, a good it was. It was fun. All right, so you, so you throw a bunch of them. Brought to you by Lego Batman. <laughs> uh, Rise of the Demigods. Definitely That's not brought to you by. Eventually, it makes the thing fall away. The, the okay. cover is gone, and the you're like, Rawr. oh, are, are you attacking the vent? No. I mean, we're yeah. just doing the wall for no reason. Yeah, so you've been like, mm. smash, smash, we smash. We don't know where the vent's going to go out, though. Why would yeah. we put slugs in the vent? It, well, slugs is already crawling I mean, in there. <laughs> <laughs> vents, the vents lead outside because we they... We don't know where... I, we need to be with slugs. So now in the wall, you can... Oh! Oh! In the wall? What? Slugs. As he's, as slugs. he's in the <laughs> vents. Oh, the I, can I try to run? It, I mean, is there Go a way slide. I can yeah. like follow the direction yeah. that the event is going? I think it goes this way. Okay, I'm going to try to follow him. <laughs> How's I my guess? punching going? I'm right just curious. I'm going to follow Slugs. I want to be out wherever he is. And then like, you get towards the back and the back doors. Yeah, kick it open. I'm right. going to see if I can find All Slugs. Right. Should I stop? I'm running after <laughs> slugs. I don't know. Yeah, Astrid just like ran past you. You're punching the wall. I'm just like, wait. Okay, if, I mean, if I saw a slug go through the vent, I'll stop. Oh, so much no, for trying to play the fucking game. <laughs> I was just gonna guiding bolt, just explode. No, no, be babies, funny. But then you were if I it, like so. warp through the wall, and in your fist is right there, and you like, <laughs> <laughs> and you do that, uh, your fist stops like right in front of my face, and it's just like, oh, hmm. hello, Bob. If only this was a fucking cartoon. This is real life. <laughs> so you get to the back and you yeah. hear like a smash, smash, uh, a smash. I'm here. Smash. Okay. But, um, can oh. I, how tall, how high up is the bench? About 12 feet. Um, fucking hell, I don't know. Um, can I like maybe get my sword and try to like pry it off, sure. I guess? Give me a. Uh, I'm not, I don't know if it's, it that's might be too, too high. high. 12 it, feet. 12 feet. Uh, I'll follow. Okay, I'll follow. So you're there too. Yeah, you hey, guys just come out. Uh, how, are you stronger than me, or am I stronger than you? One of us shoulders to stand. Something you're like probably that. stronger than me. Okay, get on. Okay, I climb um, up. And I'm also gonna uh, give her uh, my femur. Use this okay. for extra reach. All right. <laughs> I'll grab the femur and okay. <laughs> just start fucking. I would like you to roll strike. <laughs> oh god. Athletics probably right. Athletics works too. Natural one. Oh no. Oops. Okay, <laughs> the, so the femur bounces off the wall, goes into the swamp. Well, <laughs> <laughs> we gotta go back down to the swamp to. Uh, so you, I'm gonna hit slugs. You, yeah, I'm gonna you, just bonk. <laughs> you, you start to gear up, and you're like, you Fuck. know, slugs, stay back. And he's like, what? And he like puts his Fucking ear right Fuck. next to the thing, and you just slam into like. Oh, oh, <laughs> slugs! Oh my God, slugs! Oh, oh, oh. Is, uh, the, is the thing open? The oh. damage for the femur is one d eight. Yeah. If you want to go ahead and roll so you were able to bash it open, and he comes back out. Five. He's got like a you know big bump on the side of his head now. I, I grab him to, and hold him in my arms, I guess, and try to get down off a of barb. Um, in the meantime, it should be you should yeah. be, you should have so, to roll again. Mm -hmm. So you're gonna see at least once or twice. Hang on. I mean, it's probably over by now. Nineteen. Yeah, okay. she's definitely. Okay, so who's closest to her? I'm engaged. You too. Right. And I'm behind Janice went right behind me. Yeah. yeah. Okay. You see her a blink, and then her eyes shoot around to you, mm -hmm. and it's on again. So it you know, should. It's on and pop again. Are we rolling again You're... or just jumping back in the order? I I think it's an okay. We can get back in the order. Just yeah. Jumping in the order. Yeah. Uh. So we're going to the top of the rounds. Yeah. And then it's to you. All right. All right. She's in it. Yep. She's she's awake. She's definitely awake. There's like this like grin. <laughs> right, you, you were like you were waiting. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, let's go. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, kind of like tense up uh, my arm and cast booming blade. Nice, and uh, take a strike. Ooh, <laughs> that is much better. Uh, then let's see, a plus uh, six. So like nineteen plus six. Yeah, yeah that's uh, gonna hit. Okay, cool. <laughs> No, you miss. No. Good luck. I mean, protection should have been high AC, I guess. 
Mm-hmm. 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 I haven't used this before. Mm-hmm. I don't think I've used this before. Mm-hmm. Uh, hit the Tucker Stubbers attacks normal effects. Okay, so that is a... Into the microphone, please, Jimmy. I hit the th- creature. The creature. <laughs> oh, not great. Um, so that's six uh, slashing, magical slashing damage. And uh, there's like this um, kind of like energy that kind of like... If she has, she, does she have hair? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. She yeah. Hair. It's like dark brown and kind of you know pulled up into a bun. I don't know What's anything that? about this character. Yeah, fair enough. Is she <laughs> yeah, we didn't get a description. Of like, oh yeah, that person we saw before. It's literally just Zarya in our head. Like that's that. Yeah. Like Zar- Z- Oh my god, Zarya yeah. Grande. This Zaria one? Grande. It's like Zaria. giant Ariana Grande. Okay, perfect. Perfect. Yeah. Got it. Cool. Boom. Okay. Got it. Ponytail. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is she yes. wearing little cat ears? <laughs> she's wearing ponytail. little cat ears. And she's like, ah. So she could feel like the, the, the hair on the back of her neck stand up because yeah. if she moves, she's going to get another strike. Oh. Okay. Now, but would she know? Would she know that? <laughs> I don't know. Has she experienced uh, um, the boom Eldritch before? Knight attack before? I just can't. I mean, it doesn't seem like something you would necessarily no. always. No. Yeah. As your mm-hmm. assistant DM, I'll say no. Yeah. yeah I mean, yeah. it's, it's something Theodore has had to study right. up on. Yeah. There's so. no way she would know. Okay, okay. Good enough. And next in the order is Medina. Is she doing anything? Medina had like had walked back into the a corridor mm-hmm. and then kind of like looked over her sh- her shoulder to see that. Um, you know, Alina has woken up, mm-hmm. and she just, all right, and she just kept, keeps walking <laughs> down the corridor. God, the useless. teachers are useless. <laughs> useless. It's totally useless. All right, Astrid is out of this combat I'm, order. Yeah, I'm, out of, I'm outside uh, of slugs. Janice, okay. are you in this combat? I am in the combat. You're I'm going to cast message to uh, Astrid. Did we get slugs? Yes, he's out. We got him. I step back and just <laughs> <laughs> Don't hurt me, big lady. <laughs> oh my, I want that on a t shirt. Don't, Don't hurt, hurt me, lady. big lady. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. <laughs> I'm in. So are you running towards the back then? Uh, yeah, I'm just like <laughs> going backwards. Yeah, go, go, go. Come on, Theodore. Then it's Alina. Okay. She's going to follow. She's going to hit All that. Right. <laughs> she cracks her neck. Does that set off the boom? No, she has to like move, like okay. movement. She does. So she goes oh, to strike you. So what happens? No, 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 like, no, no, no. Mo- like uh, as uh, if mechanically, she runs, so yeah, like m- mechanically. Oh. It's, 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 it's like back. an aggro. So like, okay, it's ineffective if she, if she does it and she him. sticks with me. Gotcha. But if she like tries to go get the caster, right? She gets hit by that. Plus, I get a reaction. So. All right. Well, she's on you. Uh, seventeen. Does that hit you? <laughs> You nasty bitch! Wow! Um, wow! That now we know is, his uh, preferences. <laughs> uh. Um, that is gonna hit because uh, I'm using two swords right now. Okay. Oh, I got both of them out. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna put my shield up. Take seven points of damage. Okay. And roll me a uh, strength save, please. No, it's not great. Okay. Me. So she just, she moves with these shields a lot faster than you expected. And she just slams one of them in to uh, oh, pushed on. 10 feet back and you just barely hit the wall, but you got pressed up against the wall. She then closes that 10 feet. Does that make the thing go off? No, no, no. It's, it's already... I would assume it's moot because she's still engaged. Okay. With well, me. right now she you, she pushes you away and then she moves towards you again. So that would. Oh no! Yeah, then I guess right? that would. Yep. So yeah. That's no, because I can, somebody else can push them and it activates. Got you. Okay. So as she starts to move towards mm-hmm. you, what happens? Um, she's gonna feel like a surge of electricity just like strike through her body. Okay. And that is a like a thunderbolt. Yep. Nice. That's seven points of lightning damage. All right. And then what else happens to her? Is that it? Th- that's it. Yeah. Oh, great. That's All right. it. Well, then she closes that gap and she hits you. She tries to hit you again. <clears throat> uh, nope. That is going to miss. So she like comes over top and just mm-hmm. slams the edge of her shield in her right hand. 
just where your head was a second ago, which you're able to like just duck under it. Oh gosh. <laughs> Those are her two big moves. Lady. You big lady. Yeah. <laughs> okay. If you kill her, you get to like absorb her powers though. Um, <laughs> I'm surprised Nikki's not in there trying to kill uh, her. Well, yeah, I mean. Uh, Everyone else in the back. Yeah. What are you all doing? So we have slugs. We yeah. need to get out of Start here. Start going uh, to the disc. Is, yeah. is the disc still out there? The disc is still out there. Uh, I'm gonna say, let's get on. But wait, okay, what what are we gonna do? She, she tells people we've hit, like, it, it, is it happening? I mean, I don't really want to kill anyone. I mean, me neither, but what do we do? She's gonna go tell I'd the dean. I'd say that there's power in numbers. I just want to get all the students Where's together. Where's Tudor? He's inside, we, have, we can't leave without him. Oh god. Okay. Well, then I'm gonna smash, crash, <laughs> smash. Should we yeah. try to go back Slam. around to the front door and try to pull her back? Like, um, try to. I mean, I I assume we're still like kind of out in the door of the hallway. So can I see through the hallway and see? Oh what's yeah, happening? you guys look straight down the hallway and see them going at it. What is? Uh, how many feet am I away? About sixty. About sixty. Yeah. Are right. there Let's any students? Are there any other students in the infirmary other than Demron? Uh Soon. oh god, there's the tortoise. Yeah, there's the tortoise guy. Mm-hmm. Yep. Don't remind her on that though. And they're, I don't know if there's a Tortoise else. and Demron both can't move though, can they? Like we can't get them out realistically. Mm, yeah. Because they're both not. too ill. Yeah. Um, Poor Demron. Yeah, I'm going to. <laughs> That's what a Nat one does, is Demron's in the hospital for 18 episodes. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I'm go- I'm just going to I'm just going to full movement and like I'm inserting myself into this combat. <laughs> but, I mean, kind of am. I am going to I if I do full movement and dash, I I can get there easily. All right. Um so I'm going to run up and insert myself in that initiative and I will go for that. Excellent. Um so, Are yeah. we doing that? Like are we just going to fight I mean, she, hey, good point. I'm I mean, I'm not leaving Theodore behind, so I mean, cause I, I can try incapacitating her again. I have But she like, if she comes out of it, she can still yeah, she well, can still they do put Demon in a coma. I we can, can slip by the temple's defenses and get the others. Who are the others? We're not every other student. Get them we shouldn't bring them here. Yeah, <laughs> I'll run into the combat too if we're if we're if we're yeah. fighting her. Yeah, I'm just gonna run into the combat. So. And I can. Well, are we our next level yet? Uh, you are going to level yeah. during this fight. How about oh, what? that? Well, so, no, I can dash during as a bonus action if I am level four, but I can't if I'm not. You level said oh, we were in saying. the chat. Okay, take it. Then. Thank you. Yeah, sure. that's fine. Everyone is level four. <laughs> We're not going to Voltron level this time. You just are. My hair's a little bit more white. <laughs> my hair's a little bit more white. I'm going to go ahead and put myself at the top of that initiative order with yeah. my solid 26. Wow. Um, but yeah, if I dash as a bonus action, I can hit her as soon as I get in. So. All right. Excellent. Yeah. And did you roll to be put into the initiative? or? I already had an initiative. Do you want me to do a new one since I'm coming? Yeah, you can just keep that. Okay. Um, Zinder, are you following us? Um, I feel like or someone should slugs. get the others. But we, we cannot bring them we here. Them Why would out. we bring them here? Not <laughs> not here, me. but like meet outside the temple or something. Oh, R- rally them? Yeah. 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 Well, we already have, but you don't know that. <clears throat> I'll be with you. I don't know how you guys are going to do that. We're going to get it done. I want to say I want to form. Don't take the platform. I want to say Zoli should be preparing yeah, we, we for the meeting. Yeah, we need to all. Right we need now. to stay together and then leave together. Yes, we need the platform. We can't. We can't leave without that. That's okay. I can still go. Yeah. Okay. Let's just take. Let's just finish <laughs> this lady, there. and then we'll all go. Um, okay. All right, fair. Uh, I'll, I'll I'll go uh, in the initiative as well then. Okay. Oh, I don't have my knife. We're always split. It's okay. Don't use it. Um. I can call spiders. Well, the spider's on her. We'll need you to wrap her up. 12. Yeah. All right. Uh, so does my full movement dash count as my move, or is that me entering the combat DM? Well, what is the da- what does it say with a dash? Can you take a dash as an act? Well, oh, yeah, dash I, I can action. get there in a turn. I'm saying dash is, is, is me action. getting there, Not for me, no. then do I get a turn, or is my turn getting there? Well... Is it a move action or is it an action? It's both. Well, so you have a bonus action. Yeah, you have a bonus action. Oh, you're right. Yeah. I forgot about that. All right, well, then I'll get there. Um, and I will... Wow, I completely forgot about bonus actions. It's cool being a monk. It um, is cool being a monk. Yeah. Uh, I'm just going to... Uh, yeah, I'm just going to... Uh, ooh, should I do a flurry? Why not? Yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll give her a flurry from Dairy Queen. <laughs> I thought you have to take the attack action to do flurry. 
No, that's for bonus attacks, I think, or, or for um, dual wielding. But I don't, I don't think I th- flurry. You have to. I think it's yeah. no, possible. You're right. No, you're right. Asher. Yep. Oh, okay. Genius. 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 I wasn't sure. A boom. Um. <laughs> actually, yeah, I can. I, I, I really can't do much. Uh, for my bonus action. They're kind of limited. Yeah. Yeah. Just, just, a, just a little bit. Um. So I. Yeah, I'm. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna be there. Okay. Um, and be ready. Join the fight. Join the fight. All right. Next in the order would be Tio. Okay. And so this big lady is... Big lady. Of, big lady. Uh. Um, can I just say to her, like, hey, uh, it doesn't have to be like this. You can just stand down and we'll talk. How's that? Remember our talk? Hey, remember our talk? I have six seconds to say this. Remember our talk? Yeah. Uh, I am still in agreement and I don't want to fight you. It's a bit late. Fair. All right, to you. <laughs> yeah. Um, I, I'm just gonna go ahead with uh, uh, another blooming, blooming, uh, blooming, blooming flower, blade, <laughs> and then also use my bonus action to use my secondary attack that I never do because I have a shield normally. Well, now I just want an attack where a sword blooms and flowers come out everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Next level. Yeah. It's not blooming blade. I know. I know. <laughs> To make me happy. It's like uh, Mortal Kombat friendships. Right, exactly. Friendship. That's Friendship. much better. Um, that's a 22. 22 is going to hit. For the Booming Blade. Um, man, not great on my damage rolls today. Uh, another six uh, magical slashing. Followed up with old good one. No, that, no regular sword did not do. That's, that's Okay. That's 92. All right. Um, who's after you then? That m- answer is Medina. Was okay. under on deck. How did you crack her, by the way, with the booming blade? Wait, what? What? Like, like, what does it do? Oh, the, the describe flavor. Of yeah. Your attack, oh, please. okay. Um, I mean, just uh, you know, Barb was starting. Barb's back and yeah, yeah. was starting to shout at her. So Tito saw like just a little. Like just just enough distraction to um, kind of push at her shield with his other sword and try to like slice um, underneath. Nice, nice, and you were successful. Okay. All right, Medina. All right, Medina has walked out the back and has her little uh, scry pad in her hand and is calling the disc around the back to be ready for all of you. We're not in the back. Now we're going to the front. <laughs> well, that's what you were last time, so that's what she was doing. Oh, God. Yeah. Medina. She's just useless. Get out of here. Yeah. Just jump off. I'll make, a, I'll make a large half circle with my finger. <laughs> um, Zendar is up. Asher is on deck. I assume I spend my turn dashing to get there. Probably. I mean, it's 60 feet. What can you do with 60 feet? Uh, what's your movement? 30. You can do it as a bonus so, action if you're a rogue. Yeah, you have a bonus action left. When you oh, yeah, that's true. I can you use my bonus, bonus action, action to dash. So, yeah, so I'll do that. Ooh, shit. Um, and then... The one. Can I... Uh, oh, oh, never mind. Because they're, they're adjacent, so I get my sneak attack anyways. Um, well, Rom doesn't follow the adjacent advantage rule. Wait, he doesn't? No. Mm-mm. I do for actual sneak attack stuff. For sneak attack? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Cause it's, cause but it's, that that's because of sneak attack. That's because, yeah, sneak attack. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's not like rule. flanking. You don't get yeah. advantage right. exactly. from it. Uh, yeah, yeah, flanking yeah. is an optional. Okay. Real. okay. Yeah, I'm not going to take away his abilities. <laughs> no, <laughs> Good if you sneak attack doesn't give you advantage by flanking, does it? You just it's get sneak attack get, if someone sneak else. Yeah. Attack. yeah, but you don't get like advantage, right? No. 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 Okay. Just yeah, you don't punch. need advantage on the attack roll if the enemy of the target is within five feet. Just a bunch of damage. I only have one d6 sneak attack right now. That's probably not going to hit. So, what, what? What is it? I rolled a two no. plus something. <laughs> yeah, no. Look at all the twos. What's with so the twos? So you go to strike at Alina, and you just can't. She just brings. Oh wait, shield I roll with advantage if she. But is this still the same combat though? Yes. Technically, yes. Yes, yes because we okay, are still yeah. in. We've, never we've mind then. In combat. Yeah. So never mind. Okay. All right. I miss. Astrid. Um, I'm going to uh, also be running up. Let me see what I need to do. Um, yeah, I'm going to use my action, actually, to dash. I'm going to run up and sort of um, run up to her, and as my bonus action, I'm going to sort of um, find a part of 
skin, I guess, of hers, that's exposed, and like slam my hand on it, and, and my the mark on my hand will flare, and I'm gonna cast my celestial mark. So she sort of just like has this sort of like bright light that only I can see, yeah, surrounding her, yeah, and then in addition to the light she already has surrounding uh, her, yeah, yeah. Oh wait, you, she still has fairy fire on her. How long is this? Does that oh, means right. everyone yeah, has we advantage. That advantage. means everyone has advantage That's attacking true. her. That's true. It's all right. How long yeah. does it last? You don't want to cast it. Right. Would that? <laughs> app- I don't think that would apply to me. Everyone. Oh no, that's a good point. It probably will. Well, uh-huh. well, I mean, it'd be bright. So Teeter, you, what I yeah, got? Yeah, you, you would, yeah. You would see it. Does it apply no, but, if they left combat and then re-entered? Yeah, because they're illuminated. Yeah, because depen- well, it's concentration. For me, it works. So it depends like on if Medina is holding concentration on it. Opposite. Which she might It'd be, not be like a blind spot. No, for me. that's okay. Wait, wait. If it's concentration, then Medina's walked out the okay. back. And yeah, has yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, so yeah. she's and yeah. the light. The light doesn't give anything to anybody else. It's just my flavorful way of casting Hunter's Mark. All right. But I do that, and then I pull my swords out, and next turn I will attack her. Neat. So you just grab her like, like on the yeah. bicep, because that's what you can reach, oh, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And grab that bicep, <laughs> um, and yeah, and I cast Celestial Mark on and her. She glows with the light of. Uh, of the light of the stars. Light of the stars. I'm yeah. gonna do an extra d6 to her. Nice. <laughs> Janice, take it away. Nice. So I say, oh, funny thing, big lady. Uh, <laughs> cast Tasha's hideous laughter. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, hey there, wisdom, big lady. Wisdom hey saving there, throw. Hey there, big lady. Wisdom saving throw. Yeah. How's he doing? 21. Never mind. Nothing funny. <laughs> Nothing to see here. Alina doesn't find things funny. <laughs> Ariana Grande doesn't laugh. Um, all right, Elena's turn. Okay. Uh, There's a so lot of people to choose from. Who hit her last? Theodore. Right. We all look at Theodore. Okay, <laughs> so first going to swing at Theodore. Uh, does a 14 hit you? No. It does not. So misses, because you're just so agile and movie, basically. So cute. Movie. And then the <laughs> second... <laughs> The second thing Adjective. she does is like hold the other shield to her chest and close her eyes. And as she does, yeah. full plate forms over all of her with a helmet Misfit. and everything. Whoa. And then there's like red just she glows where the eyes are. She did that as a bonus? No, that, no she, she, um, she, she can take two actions per round. So one action was to, uh, to attack and one action was to she summon. She two the, actions per round? Who is she? She's high level. She's a fighter. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And she's a fighter. Well, oh, so she fighters can take surge? two attacks, no, but they don't get two not separate yet. actions. Could be an action right. surge. But no, he's, he didn't yeah. use an action surge. Oh, I said, well, I'm I'm gonna have to now because I didn't understand that. Yeah. So yeah, she yeah. she used an action surge, but that means though she has one more attack. Yeah. Because mm-hmm. she attacks twice per yeah. round. So she'll go ahead and hit Tio again. Seventeen. Seventeen will hit. All right, and you take. Eight points of damage as she cracks you across the face with one of her shields. Ah! Ooh. Fudge. That hurts. Fudge and crackers. Boy. <laughs> Fudge and crackers. Good golly, Molly. <laughs> um, so this this shield and plate armor stuff. Sorry, huh? I don't get it. Yeah. Probably <laughs> lowered her AC. Oh, yeah. Definitely lowered her AC. That's exactly what happened. Um, <laughs> I look at Janice. Janice. Any any more mental stuff? Any Anything that can... I'm, z- I'm trying. Z- uh, okay. Like what? Um, well, gosh, I mean, if we're all just like piling on the hits, I I'm, think we are just I, like, I, yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to kind of like sc- scramble up her backside <laughs> yeah. in, in, in as cartoon as I can bonk at the top of her head. <laughs> <laughs> you hear it. You hear a bell ring. <laughs> just roll me an Told athletics first. Well, I got, it's flavor, Rom. I know, I know. I just, well, and I'm going to give you a little bonus if you make it. Give you a little, a little bonus. I'm trying to help if you, you athletics. Athletics. Yeah, I'm trying to help you. Uh, 20. Yes. Oh, yeah. So you get back up on there and you're kind of like on her back where she can't quite see you or guard with her shield. So go ahead and roll with advantage Thank to hit her. You. Beautiful DM. <laughs> oh, that jumped into the other dice. Uh, one, two, 15. The other eight. Uh, so that is a 22 to hit. That hits. Time to bonk. Let's see, what are my box? Oh, it's just that. Uh, that is seven points of bonking damage. Um, Bonk. And uh, I'll go ahead and I'll flurry. I'll yeah. flurry of bones as well. Do all of these have advantage as well? Uh, yes, for this yeah, this round, I'll give it to you. Yep. <laughs> give him an inch, man. <laughs> no. 
Okay, nope. None of those hits. Oh, no. Uh, four. Uh, it's cocked. Cocked again. <laughs> uh, 14 hit. No. Nope. Okay, I'm like... <laughs> ah! <laughs> 15 <laughs> times. times. No. Just right against the plate. Nope. And it's just... You got one shot. One good shot, yep. though. One yeah, shot, very good shot. All right, I bonked a lot. Um, what is I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna, a resog. I'm going to wrap my legs around her neck um, to just stay on. Wait, okay, <laughs> yes, fine. You could. Flip it's and not. Flip. You're not. I'm grappling. not doing anything. No, right, I'm not grappling. Yeah, okay. I'm just. I'm. I. But I am staying on. Yeah. Um, also, I'm still wearing the cloak. Uh, so it now looks like she has a cloak on. <laughs> she's, she's, she's wearing a barb cowl. She is two people on top of each other uh, in a human suit. Yeah, trying right. to buy uh, R-rated movie tickets. <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. All right, next in the order is T.O. All right. Bye. What are you doing? Come bonking. Um. I'm bonking. There's, there's like, there's it's just like a little like again that that grin on like Tio's face just because that armor thing is so cool. Yeah, it is really it's cool. It's so cool. Oh my God. Uh, uh, but but yeah. Um, seeing that she uh kind of stepped up her game, I'm gonna go ahead and um uh, have Tio kind of like wind his arm back and uh s- try to slam it through. Um, the armor as hard as possible and cast chromatic orb. Excellent. Let's see if that'll do anything. It's not been great for me. Acceleration. Um, giant energy in the creature. Giant orb to create. Okay, make a spell. Isn't that attack. a range? So she'll get a, an attack of opportunity, right? No, if it's. No, I'm not moving. If it's away. ranged, it's. A ranged d- spell attack. Disadvantage. It's a disadvantage. Oh, okay. That that was in four E. Sorry, that's not bad at all. Yeah, all right, so yeah. It's a seventeen. Yeah. Um, Add seventeen and eighteen. Nice. Yeah, my spell mod, right? I think spell attack. Yeah, DC. yeah. Or spell attack modifier. That's why I need to charge your iPad, Joey. Oh wow, that's a plus six. So we're yeah, that's we're gonna work. We're good. That's yep. that's a that seventeen is. plus six. Okay, um, so she's going to take three uh, D eight. Ooh, um, ice damage. Neat. Because you Ooh. had said Neat. that she was kind of afraid of the water, so oh. maybe she's afraid of cold. Water. Does a twenty three hit with? When it's frozen, it's fine. <laughs> or um, does a twenty three hit? Yeah, a 20, 23 hits. Oh, okay, I was just making sure because her, her super her, armor. Her yeah. Super armor. Yeah. If a 23 didn't hit, we would be dead. Yeah. yeah well, not necessarily. Six points of damage. Six points of damage. I'm sorry, I threw that out of right. I don't she's, like this spell. She's <laughs> looking. Shit. She's taking some hits. But cool. She's not slowed down at all. That's fine because right. I'm going to use a um, an action surge as well. Nice. Draw my blade back out and then just slam it into her again. Um, with uh, a booming blade. Go down. <laughs> Excellent. Uh, that's a 16 plus 6. So that's going to hit. Okay. Tio is all over it. Not great with the damage, though. Um, seven slashing. And then now she'll, she, again, she feels that little electric surge. Nice. Oh, so it's the same thing as before? Mm-hmm. Okay, so she's learned. Mm-hmm. So, okay, gotcha. Good deal. All right, because that doesn't feel good. No. Mm-mm. <laughs> Mm-mm. She knows what's coming. She, you know, yep. uh, wants to shove me that? somewhere else this time. <laughs> exactly. How's that Medina and disc play going? Okay, so the disc <laughs> is there, and Medina <laughs> has it, and now she's still in her scribe She pad gets on it and leaves. Going I will, through. Yeah, me too. I will kill her. <laughs> Bye. I will kill her. No, she's just like there's stuff <laughs> on her. If That's anyone mood. around her could see that there's stuff on her screen, and there's like little like it's a map. No one's of around her. So the island. I'm just well, the audiences. The okay. audience is yeah. around her. The it's audience a, is all around us. They're like God. A map of the islands, uh, of of the islands, and there are like buildings on them. Google and maps. there's red, flashing parts of them, and she's just clicking, and pulling to the side and as she does the red flashing goes away and it just becomes normal again. alarm cancel <laughs> basically all you gotta do is hit the button again it's okay <laughs> <laughs> it's a very easy system I hacked it quite instantly alright next in the order is Endar 
All right, Zendar is just going to use his Shadow Blades because that is his best thing. Um, Guys, are we going to... I don't want to kill. I'm what are kill we going to do? We could just go. I mean, if the disc is and here... And she's going to report us, and then we're going to be well, caught power no, Like Again, what else is our plan besides power numbers? I'm saying this during your turn, Zendar. I apologize. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, that is a 22. 22's gonna hit. Yeah. Nikki, you always talk about how you want to kill a demigod. Now yeah. I have well, a chance I mean, but like, I'm also, I'm not, I'm not the big bad yet. <laughs> yes. Plus four is 21 damage. Thief damage, the there it comes. Fucking hell? Because Jeez. he got sneak attack. I'm about to get wow. some shit myself. Mm-hmm. If I that one hurt. Mine. She, oh, you like got it right in her side, right it's, where there's a well, place under the armor. Um, she she's focused on Tio because he just hit her. Yeah, and I just slip underneath and and right under the in the chink in the armor. Yep, got her good. She did not see that one coming. Do not kill her. <laughs> no, I'm serious. No, do not, like we're me. not gonna, guys. We're not, not. What are we doing? We're not gonna her. kill someone. Not and planning on killing her. Knock her unconscious. Just right out of bar uh, character. <laughs> well, I mean, in, in ex, to an extent, like. I don't. We like, need to get her down so that we can knock sure her we can out. Get no, her I, down, we I can didn't plan on killing yeah. her. Yeah. Who, who is well, that? We need to be You're the only do. person saying we're going to kill somebody. Like we're well, not I mean, going to no, kill I'm not somebody. We're not doing lethal damage. What if that would have accidentally killed her? Is what I'm worried about. Yeah. Um, as she, as you say that, you know, don't kill her. The, she does cough, and there's like now. Uh, See, she coughed everyone on her bottom lip. <laughs> oh, she just everyone sex. who coughs in movies is going to die. She's going to die anyway. Um, right. Next in the order is uh, Astrid, the pacifist. Uh, <laughs> LOL. Um, yeah, both both attacks. And I'm going to say, stand down or not at all. Uh, one's going to definitely not hit. The other one is probably going to hit. It's a 22. That hits. Cool. Both these 22s. Seriously, you all are, are rolling crazy. Well, can yeah. I do non-lethal with my shadow plates? Yeah, um, you turn, they can be blunt instead of edged. Yeah, anything can be non-lethal. Uh, nine damage. Nine damage. That was three d six. I'm rolling nine. Um, yeah. So I told her to stand down. Okay. Does she stand down? Is it her turn? No, Janice first. Okay. <laughs> Does it look like she's standing down? Okay. So I start clapping my hands. <laughs> And, like, you know, and I'm gonna give um, bardic inspiration to um, <laughs> to Barb. Okay. Yeah, I need it. It's your turn after, like, at the top right. Uh, yeah, after Alina, okay. yeah. Uh, as a bonus action, and then I'm going to um, I'm gonna use my fourth level ability Uh-oh. and call forth a uh, katana made from um, it's a glowing like incorporal like like almost purple blade yeah. and then the hilt is made out of like these black writhing tethers that kind of circle around my hand um, and I'm going to throw it uh, <laughs> <laughs> ah, you, did, you didn't see that coming I did not I did not, nope. I did not. I did not throwing katana you got me <laughs> uh, so this acts like the spell shadow blade yeah. except that I get advantage if I had previously done psychic damage to her, which I did. Yes, you did. Because yep. I did recall trauma. Yes, Ooh, you did. That's beautiful. Ooh, but you can't do non-lethal with a spell. Oh. No. Says who? Shove it. <laughs> <laughs> says, the, uh, says the rules uh, of D&D. I'm we're, good with it. We're about to learn. Okay. Yeah. She okay. won't die I'm just making this. sure. She'll, I mean, get, like, she'll get scratched if I there be like 37 damage. If it was a fireball, I'd say no, you can't do non-lethal. It, mm. it, it depends on the thing. Uh, okay. Uh. At 22. 22 hits, man. Oh, God, wait, yeah, 22, 22, 22 again. Yeah. Jeez. So it's 2d8 psychic damage. All right. Ugh. Poor woman just trying to do her job. Eight points of damage. That's Oof. the Nazi set of rum. We're taking wow. the school down. That, we're taking the school down. Wow, I'm Armenian. <laughs> you can't do that. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Uh, and then and then I recall the blade back to my hand. How much damage did it do? I forgot. Eight, eight, my, it's my head. You keep trying to make moment. us feel bad for these teachers, and they're trying to kill us. Okay. Like I'm over it. We also gonna, did like torture slides. Yeah, we're like, not gonna yeah, feel bad for true. these no, people. No, that's fine. I'm sorry. I was just taken aback. <laughs> okay, so it 
slams into her. I read a book recently. And then, yeah. you, yeah. and then you can summon it back? It slams into her, it, and then it disappears, and, and I can recall it back to my hand. Oh, that's Ooh. cool. Okay. So so then, like, it vanishes, but there's, like, there's, like the still a gauntlet are of still, shadows. Yeah. yeah, they're still attached to my hand, so I just recall it back. Awesome. That's awesome. All right. Well cool. done. All right. Alina's up. With okay. the option to stand down. She is bloodied and battered at this point and she clearly isn't going to be able to do much else and she knows if she moves that thing will go off and she'll probably get knocked out anyway um so, oh, shoot so she just shrinks down her shields and you know removes her armor folds like into her back I right? jump off her shoulders <laughs> <laughs> All right, and she just like she just puts her hands up, just kind of off to either side. That's what you wanted. <laughs> <laughs> she's, she's done what we're you like wanted. We're like a dog chasing um, a car. We don't know what we're gonna do when we get there. <laughs> um, we're leaving. Yeah. Yep. Uh, I'll say, um, hey, sorry. This is for the good of the temple and throw the cloak around <laughs> and zip it up. <laughs> I'm not sure there's a zipper on it. And and just start. Wait, is that my cloak? Yeah, it is. I'm still wearing it. Um, <laughs> I'm like, what? <laughs> and uh, say, let's get on the disc, everyone. All right. Is everyone going back to the disc? Uh, yeah. Yeah. So Alina just you know keeps her hands up. Watches you all get into the hallway. Watches you all move towards the back. I mean, I'm I watching. Think, I look, think Zendar, you, Zendar is gonna just uh, as she as she holds her hands up. Zendar is just gonna <gasps> right right in the back of the head. Not not kill her, but oh. like knock her out. <laughs> like what I was trying to do with the butt of the dagger. I mean, what if it does roll <laughs> stealth? <laughs> just, just out. You made a stabbing motion. That's <laughs> like, you've got to no, beat twenty three. No real assassin would stab like that. You don't stab <laughs> overhand. I have to beat a 23 stealth? 23, yeah. Uh, I don't. All right. <laughs> so you slide up behind her, slide into the shadows, out of the shadows. Slide to her DMs. Get right, <laughs> right, get right behind her as you're going to strike. And then like just as you're about to thrust forward, she reaches behind herself and grabs your arm and just turns her head to look back at you. Do not push it. And tosses your arm to the side. Like a rag doll. She's pretty strong. Yeah. <laughs> Come All on, right. Zendel, let's I'll, go. I'll leave. Okay. <laughs> just kind of like walk around her and walk yeah. out. I just want right. to like glare at Zendar though. <laughs> like that. <laughs> too she's, soon, you realize that she's just say. going to call the alarm. Hold on. Yeah, I, I no, no, I'm going to take. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm going to s- slice the the panel in half with okay. my diamond arm. Ooh. Like, just totally eradicate it. Okay, and she watches you do that, and then just shakes her head. And do you guys leave? She can still go grab people. Is it, that, that's, Who else? See, that's why I was just going to knock her out. She can like, go to the temple. She can get the dean. She how can, can she go to the temple? Oh, call another disc. She's, uh, yeah, she's a teacher. She can call whatever she wants. She's not trapped in the infirmary. Well, I mean, what are we going to do anyway? Push her off. Uh, <laughs> this is a McKinsey. This is, <laughs> this is an Astrid. This is McKinsey. <laughs> I'm just like saying. Where is like, her? Can I? You, sh- I can try uh, putting her in the mind palace. Where, where is her? Um, really? Where is her pad? Her what? Her scry pad. pad? Oh, uh, you know, I mean, she shouldn't. Well, she wasn't using it. I say we've committed to this, and so we just need to know she's going to call somebody, and we're going to be fucked. But if we know that, then so I guess we know. So let's just tie her up. I mean, it's not like no one's going to find out, right? Yeah. yeah. This. Yeah. I this say we take it. her scribe pad, throw her in one of the cells. We can throw in. Well, throw how her cell. Are we going to get into one of the cells? Medina. Uh, we we can turn I and stare at Medina. Can you Medina, open up one open? of these cells? I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, one of the cells? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> and then she just stands there. Um, do it. <laughs> I see. All right. And she steps off and she walks into the back and she just walks up to the first one and, pr- and places a hand on it and it opens. 
Wait, yeah, is there anybody else here? We, we should get, get the other students. How are we going to... They're ill. There's, how there's can we Demarin get them who's move? kind of Demarin hooked up to tortoise. life support. Yeah, yeah so basically. I don't, I don't want to touch we can't, Demarin. We can't... We there's can't Demarin who's on life support of and some sort. And is the tortoise guy awake? No, he's in. He's, he is still out cold, which, which should suggest some sort of stasis, either magically induced or whatever. Yeah, I don't think whatever. we can touch them without hurting them. Get in. <laughs> <laughs> so do you tell... Take Elena her scribe pad for yeah. to get in, and she right, she walks up and she walks to the yeah. Entrance, we take her scribe pad, and she lets you take the scribe pad off her, and she walks in and turns, and Medina closes it and touches a hand against it. It locks, and she just looks at you all, and she shakes her head again, and she sits down on the bed and she crosses her arms. So Alina's just waiting Ooh. there. Lost. And let's uh, <laughs> let's go back to the tent. All right, let's get out of here. Okay. Can I just say to her like? You were a valiant fighter, but oh God. <laughs> but maybe fight for the right side next time. Okay, so she's got her arms across and she's looking right at you, and without you know blinking or turning away, she just raises a <laughs> finger <laughs> and then goes back. She's to like a grown ass woman. <laughs> Okay. Jaw open. She's a little salty. <laughs> I am 14. So rude. <laughs> just um, excuse me. I'm just He's trying 14, to be nice. So. He's 14. <laughs> all right. Back to the disc we go. Okay. So you all climb back onto the disc. Yes. All like eight of you at this point. I think. <laughs> yeah, you said they can get big. Yeah, yeah they get no, bigger. No, it's hey. fine. It's just a lot. And you all start heading back towards while the main island. While we're, on stuff. The, <laughs> while we're on the disc, can uh, I lean down to slugs? Mm-hmm. Can I say slugs? No. Um, I'm, I'm really sorry. Why? Well, for one, I hit you, which I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, but no, it's an accident. That's fine. Um, I feel bad. They've mentioned that you were taken and interrogated about me, and I, I hate to think that you suffered because of me. I'm, I didn't. I'm sorry. I didn't suffer because of you, because you didn't hurt me. They did. And to blame yourself for actions they took doesn't make any sense. You're my friend. I helped you. And, I, and you helped me. And that's what friends do. You're a very good person, Slugs. Well, I like you. I like you too. Oh. Nah. I am still sorry that it had to happen to you. And I, I, focus. I'll make sure it won't happen again. We all will. You gotta focus that on the people who did it. Not on yourself. Don't be sad about you. Don't be sad about me, because I'm fine now, and we're going to work together. 